Hello everyone. So I am working with this new phone tripod thing and we're gonna hope that it does not fall over. But if that happens, that would be a fun little bonus part of your workout, a little extra depth perception. I'm just kidding. So what we're gonna need for today is our favorite playlist, whatever music you want. I'm gonna move it a little bit because I'm like super albino right now. So hello friends. So we're gonna need playlist, jam out to your tunes, whatever that playlist might be. Pick whatever is fun. We've got a really awesome workout today, very leg and glute dominant, so be ready and really tune into this intention that we're about to talk about too. We're gonna need a towel, a water, and then all of the equipment for today is totally optional. But if you want, you would grab a weight and be around like a couch or a squishy chair. And I always have my mat because I don't like being on the ground. So those are the things that we'll need to get ready for this class today. As always, Gizmo will be around helping us because that's what he does. And we are gonna start off, get into something comfy, and we're gonna start off with our intention and or moment of clarity. So find a comfy spot. I'm gonna chill out on my couch for a little bit, and we are going to tune in to our intention, get in the vibes for today, and then we'll start our workout. So meet me on a comfy spot, hanging out on the couch or hanging out on the floor. And we're gonna just take a sec to tune in. So maybe close your eyes, just getting ready for the day. And we're gonna to start to slow down our breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And we're really starting to tune in to the intention of today, which is really giving yourself permission to modify and change things up. So a lot of times in workouts, I feel pressured to finish exactly what the instructor has presented, exactly to the 110% of my physical ability. And I think that while that is fun too sometimes, that's not the only way to move. That's not the only thing that we can do to take care of ourselves. So if today is a day where maybe something's a little more sore than otherwise, or you haven't really worked out recently, tune in and give yourself permission to modify and give yourself permission to do what feels good. So today is all about joyful movement. Today is all about moving in a way that honors our body instead of tries to beat up on it or bully it. And we are gonna have an awesome workout filled with self-care and going at each of our own paces. So locking that in, permission to modify, permission to take care of yourself on your own terms. That is what we will be coming back to throughout this workout. So big, big, big deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Open up those eyes if you have not already and we will get going on our stretch. So I like to start off at the top of my mat. I'm a little bit crooked, but standing up and we are gonna start off with a head to toe stretch. So we're really getting into our neck to start, which I always realize that I super, super, super need because my neck is killing me. <laughs> so loosening that up, nice big neck circles, and then we're looking up and down. Going at your own pace here, hopefully you already have your playlist blasting. Fingers crossed and living through you. For the newbies, we're not allowed to have music playing on these Facebook Lives because they'll like block it out and then everything gets muted. So less than fun. <laughs> but it means you get to DJ for yourself. So whatever your music style is, gets to happen in this class, which is way more fun than listening to whatever I wanna listen to because maybe you don't like my music, which is impossible because I have the best music taste ever, but theoretically. Last one here, then we're gonna wring out the towel. So hips stay forward and we're twisting through that spine, really opening up our back. Gizmo's freaking out. What's up, squoosh? Last 
last one on either side here. And then we're gonna hinge it forward and we're gonna do our IYTs. So for that, our arms are gonna be in an I, a Y, and then out to a T. But we're hinged over, so we have a nice flat back. We bring it up to a Y, out at about 45 degrees to a T, and then pinkies come up, or that was a Y. <laughs> you know your letters. Do what I do. Don't follow my alphabet. <laughs> So I is up top, thumbs are up, Y is also up top, thumbs still up, and then T is out to the side. There it is with pinkies up. We're gonna do a couple more of these. Really try and feel your shoulder blades squeezing together on these. So this should be predominantly a mid to low back exercise. We don't want this to just be completely shoulders. Focusing on where you're feeling. Last one, bringing it up. Next, we're gonna work on our forward fold. So I like to practice starting off connecting my upper body to my quads. So we're really just trying to like squish here. You can bend your knees as much as you want. You can give yourself a big bear hug, but we're really bending forward here. And then we're gonna put our hands on the ground. Again, bend your knees as much as you need. And we're gonna start to straighten out our legs just walking them out. Big breaths. We really want to make sure that we're getting into those hips and into those hammies, into our glutes today. Because we got legs. Awesome. Next, we're going to bring our hands to our quads and we're straightening out that back. So we're sending our head in one direction and our hips in the opposite direction, shoulders away from the ears, and then release it back down. Nice knee bend, starting to straighten again. Hands to quads, straightening it out. Awesome, and then release it back down and bring it up nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. Nice low roll up, bloop, good job. So now we're gonna do our arm circles, pretending like we're against a wall here and we can't let our arm come out this way. We're really trying to keep it in toward our center line and work on that shoulder mobility. We're going to go through five times on either side in either direction. So this one's four, last one, and then switch direction. Gizmo has zoomies, so he's like booking it around the apartment. <laughs> Added bonus fun. Last one on this side, and then switch it up. And I really just keep my hand here because it helps me remember to not start to do this. It really helps me stay extra intentional with keeping everything as straight as feels good for today. Last one, switching it up. Everybody's doing great. Really getting everything nice and warmed up today. Last two. And Gizmo's destroying my apartment. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. We're going to do field goal arms. So for this one, make sure that that back isn't arching. We're tucking here and we're sliding up and down this imaginary wall behind us. Good job. Shoulders are starting to wake up for sure. <laughs> Here's five. Last one. Good. And then bring it down like this, working on our different mobility here. And then we're closing it up. Meet me down on the ground. We're gonna do some more fun hip stuff. Air quotes on fun. So we're gonna start off with our 90-90 stretch. So we have 90 degrees in that front knee, 90 degrees in the crotch region. I can't think of a fancy term for that right now. <laughs> 90 degrees on that back knee. We are keeping our hips squared forward, so parallel to that front shin. And then with a flat back, we're gonna hinge forward it is not about how far down you can go. It's really about feeling that stretch through that glute 
and I can already totally feel that here. So even though I feel like I can come over pretty far in like a butterfly stretch, this is very intense if you're focusing on squaring up those hips forward. So keep bringing that side of your hip that's on the back knee forward. We're trying to twist open. And you're just bringing it forward little by little and then bringing it back up. And I feel that through this hip, I feel that through this front area over here. It's just lots of opening. <laughs> Good job, switch it up. We've got again, 90, 90, 90. So 90 in the front, 90 in the middle, 90 in back. I'm focusing on bringing this hip forward, getting everything nice and squared off and balanced, and then just little bitty coming forward at a time to make sure that I'm easing into this stretch. I like to keep my feet flared too. Listen to your body. And the last one here. Awesome. Next, we're gonna go into kind of a runner's lunge, but we're really opening up that hip flexor more than anything. So we're gonna have one leg out front, the other leg, we have our knee down and back. And then I use this hand to keep me stable to really play with my hips. So we can work on bringing our hips forward. We can work on opening up that pelvis a little bit. We can do hip circles, whatever feels good, but we're really getting into that stretch there. And do whatever you need, whatever feels good. And then once you're in that nice comfy spot, we're gonna work on a twist. So we have my left hand is down, my right foot is up in front, and then my right hand is gonna twist open, look toward the sky, and then come through. Don't hit your couch. <laughs> and then we're opening it up, coming back through. The whole time I'm still feeling that stretch through my hips, so make sure that we're not letting that one go. Last one, good job. We'll switch that out, come out nice and slow. Switching out our legs. Same thing on this side. So first we're just kind of playing around. We're getting into that stretch. We're figuring out what we need today. Give yourself permission for this to be different on different sides. So just because you were like almost in a split on the one side doesn't mean that that needs to happen over here. <laughs> I'm always humbled by one side and that's okay. <laughs> Work on our hip circles, twist, and remember this shouldn't be like an excruciatingly painful stretch. So if you're like not breathing right now, ease up out of it. You don't need to be hurting yourself in this. This is a nice friendly warm up. Now I have left foot forward, right hand forward, and I'm gonna twist open with the other arm and then bring it through. Twisting open, keeping those hips squared this whole time. So we really wanna feel this stretch in our pelvis area, but then we're really working that spine to get that twist. Last one. Awesome. Bringing it back out nice and easy. And then the last one that I wanna get into is our calf. So with this, I like to bring my one leg forward a little bit, and then I'm basically sitting on it but what I'm doing here is I'm starting to focus on this knee coming forward and imagining like I'm gonna bring my toes up off the mat to meet my shin. So I'm trying to shrink this angle here, leaning forward, and I'm really, really feeling that in my calf right now. But I really like this position because you're able to be in more control over that stretch. You can use your hands to push back if you're like, oh, that's not great. <laughs> like, if your knee is starting to feel funny, you can make sure that you're keeping that angle straight. So really, really feeling like what that feels in everything. Maybe you feel this in your hip too. Maybe this is mainly calf, but either way, we're really trying to get into that angle. You can move side to side just a little bit. Be really careful with that. And then we're coming out of that and we're doing the other side. And then we're getting into our first circuit. Woo! <laughs> so shrink.
shrinking that angle here. Remember to keep that heel down firmly on the ground. So if the heel starts to come up, that means that we have gone past our range of motion, which is totally fine, but we just need to remember not to try and worry about the shape as much as the quality of the form of what we're working on. Gizmo's licking his bowl, even though he literally just got fed, so he's trying to guilt trip me. <laughs> you just had breakfast, sir. Last little bit here. Awesome. Stand it up nice and slow. Get your water if you need it, and we're going to get started on our circuit. So, we are... I always try and say how many times we're going to go through the circuit, but it really just depends on time. So I'm thinking three times, but we shall see. It might be two. <laughs> what we're going to focus on in this circuit is really a lot of leg stuff. So hopefully our legs aren't too, too sore with anything else going on this week. But we have five different movements. I'm going to introduce them to you right now. So take a sec, get water, hang out, and then we're going to move through them pretty quickly. Once we get started, the goal is to go from the first exercise to the fifth exercise with minimal breaking. Feel free to listen to your body if you're like, yo, I really need water. Get your water. Don't stress yourself. But if you can make it through to the fifth one without slowing down the movement too much, that's going to help us get our heart rate up so we can kill two birds with one stone, get some cardio, and get some strength training in there. I am so incredibly bright right now <laughs> and what we're gonna do first gizmo's coming up let's not go over there sir my phone's over there so we're gonna start off in a squat remember this is just me demoing so we're hanging out squat we're gonna do a traveling squat so we're bringing it forward back to the center in back and back to the center then we're gonna switch sides forward back and then we're back more and then back to the center so that's gonna be our traveling squat. We're gonna work on that. Next, we have a glute bridge off the couch. If you don't have a couch handy, that's fine. You could totally do this on the ground, but we're gonna get our shoulder blades on the edge of the couch, and we're pushing up here. You can totally work on one leg at a time, but with this, we really wanna make sure our hips are staying even. We're gonna work on that, and then we're gonna do a squat to overhead press, which is super challenging. Feel free to grab weights if you want them, but I'm not going to. <laughs> We're gonna do a squat. So mastering that first. If that feels comfy when we squat, we're gonna come into that overhead press too. So it's at the same time, really focusing on that same feel of those IYTs we did of keeping those shoulder blades back while still getting that squat. Then we have tricep push-ups from your knees or from regular, keeping those elbows in nice and tight, makes the regular looking push-up a tricep push-up. And then last but not least, we have a fancy one. So we're gonna do standing on one leg here, hand on hip. We have a weight in this hand. This foot is out to the side. We're making a half quarter circle. And we're gonna lean forward, row, and then bring our leg back. So we're making a little quarter circle with that toe, rowing while we're bent over, and coming back to standing. That is our circuit. So starting off, we're gonna start off with our traveling squat. So find a, find a spot where you have a little bit of room to move, not too much, don't worry. But we're gonna start off in our squat in three, two, and down. Now we're bringing our foot forward, catch that balance in the middle, don't be standing on that one leg, just reaching the foot out, really get centered, back to the middle, in back, and center. Other side, bring it forward, <laughs> to the middle, stepping it back, back to the middle. Switching sides again. It's a little bit of a brain exercise too. Middle, back, middle, other side, front, middle, back, middle, front, middle. And you can catch the beat of your music, whatever songs playing. Take your time with this one. 
Got a couple more on either side. If this is too intense, remember you got the option to stand up out of it a little bit. Listen to your body and stand it up. Woo, good job. Next we have that glute bridge. So you have the option of both feet down or one foot down, other foot up. I'm gonna start it off with both. We have our heels digging into the ground or straightening it up. Big breaths here. Remember to really focus on that exhale when we're pushing up. Last two. And 10. Woo! Good job. Hips are burning. Glutes are burning. Okay, now we're doing our squat to overhead press at the same time. So we're gonna squat it down and push it up. Practice first with just squats, that's totally fine. The goal is to get both working at the same time. In three, two, and one. Remember to keep that upper body up, so don't let things start to come forward. We're really trying to stay chest back, really focusing on getting these things moving at the same time. Don't stress about how far down you're going. Just really focus on the quality of this movement. And 10. Good work. That's a tough one. Next, we have our tricep push-ups on our knees. So we're bringing it down to the mat. Get a nice comfy plank position. You can either have your legs down or be on your knees here. And we are gonna go down for 10. Remember your modifications. Remember range of motion. Lots of different ways to make this accessible here. And 10. Good. Awesome, awesome. We got our last one. Feel free to grab a weight, totally optional. I'm gonna grab a light weight so I can master the form first and then might pick up a bigger weight later. So we're on one leg, nice soft knee bend, other leg pointed out, and we are bending forward as we bring that foot back, row, and then bring it back up. Take your time on this one. This one's really more focused on balance. And we can also really work on keeping those hips squared forward in this one. Great work. Here's seven. Last two on this side. And one, boom, good job. Switching sides, remember, sometimes balance is better on one side than the other. That's okay. <laughs> We're gonna bring the toes back, row, bring it back up. Whee, <laughs> balance. <laughs> Keeping those hips forward the whole time. Good job. This is halfway. Last five. Here's eight. Last two. And don't fall over. <laughs> Good job, get some water, take a sec, and we will start up with round dose momentarily. So, how are we doing with that intention of tuning in? How are we doing with that intention of really giving yourself permission to do what you need today?
think about that for a second. Courtney, what's your YouTube video? I want to see. I can't see the link right now. I feel like I have a hair in my face. There it is. I was like, I know it's in there somewhere. <laughs> so we have round two coming up. Make sure that you're giving yourself some seconds. Guess where Gizmo is? Can you see him? He's having a great time. He is also doing squats. He is awesome. Oh, all about their base. Yes. <laughs> we all have our, our champion songs. Got to find your playlist that speaks to your soul, especially with the butt workouts. Gizmo is killing me. If this phone falls over, it's not my fault. What are you doing? <laughs> so we have our second round i would say last round but i'm not convinced i think it is we're gonna figure out the timing as we go but remember tuning in see what you need out of it starting off in that squat and we're gonna bring our one foot forward to the center back to the center so squatting it out in three two and down let's start with our other foot so whichever foot you started with last time we're gonna switch it up Switch sides, forward. Remember to get back to that center every time. Still keeping those knees pushed out. A lot of times with this, I start to see the knees caving in. So that's harder than just keeping them still. So make sure we're still pushing out and away. Doing great. If this is too hard, Come out of it a little bit. Practice working from a little bit higher. If that's too easy, drop it down lower. Get an extra inch of depth out of it. Whatever you need. We got a couple more here. Taking it forward, middle, back, forward. Last one. And forward. Next, we have our glute bridge off the couch. Get nice and comfy. Find that kind of bra strap region. Fun times. <laughs> and then we're gonna focus on those glute bridges. I never know where to put my hands in this. You can like vogue it out while we do these. I always look like I'm like, just got my nails done. <laughs> Going for a few more. Really catch that squeeze at the top. If you're doing one leg and then the other, make sure you're keeping it even. Last one. Bloop. Good job. Next, we have our squat and overhead press at the same time. My least favorite, but that's okay. We tune in. <laughs> We're gonna focus on that form. So we're bringing those hands up, those upper arms are right next to our ears, and we're really focusing on getting that range of motion there. Keep those shoulders away from your ears. Though. Setting that off, squat it down first in three, two, and one. Good, working to make that one succinct movement. Holding it for a sec at the bottom. Focusing on your breath. Last one. Awesome. Tricep push-ups here. Bringing it forward from the knees. Keeping that nice straight line from shoulders to hips to knees. In three, two, and one. Next, we have our fancy little leg bendy situation. 
technical terms, of course, we're very serious here. So we have one leg a little bit bent, other legs pointed out to the side, and then we are hinging forward as we come back, catch that stability, and roll. Here's three. And what I mean about keeping those hips level is a lot of times people have the tendency to come here. We want those hips forward. So really making sure that we're not letting that hip start to twist out when we bring that leg back. And if that's too hard, remember your options of keeping it a little more standing. There's lots of different ways to make this easier. Here's eight, nine, last one. Looking forward to this break after this. Woo, last one for balance, hello. Next, we switch sides. <laughs> so we're gonna bring it back, row it up, and forward. Give yourself grace on this second side. Balance can get a little wonky and that's okay. Our body is doing its best. I am intently staring at a certain spot on the floor to make sure that that doesn't happen. <laughs> so whatever works for you. Got a few more here. I feel my form kind of going. So I'm gonna think a little bit more about where my body needs to be, about what's feeling good on these last reps. Last one. Boop! We did it! Take a sec, get your towel, blotch yourself. Oh, goodness gracious. And now we're gonna get our water as well, hanging out. How'd round two feel? Everybody's doing awesome, I'm sure. I can't see you, but I believe in you. <laughs> so we have one more round. We're gonna do one more round. We're gonna do one more round of that, and then we have some fun on the ground stuff to work on. And then we're gonna get a really, really awesome stretch going at the end. So for this last round, we're extra, extra tuned in to what our body needs. So if we're really feeling like we have a lot of gas in the gas tank less left, then we're gonna make sure that we're taking care of that and having some fun with it and moving a little bit extra if that's what serves us. If we have gas in the gas tank and we're like, you know what, I don't really feel like working out that hard today, that's listening to your body too. It's not always about pushing harder and forcing and making it happen. We gotta figure out what our body is asking of us today. Me personally, I'm liking the pace that I'm going. I'm feeling like I'm getting a good challenge, but I don't feel like I'm dying. So I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. And if you're really feeling gassed out already, take it slower. Make sure that you're remembering to modify or if a certain movement is really hurting or isn't feeling great, take a second to figure out an alternative. Ultimately, we're working on a lot of glutes, I'm looking at our program, a lot of glutes and quads and hamstrings, and there's a million different exercises that you can do as simple as sitting and standing off your couch or working on some deadlifts or some RDLs or whatever feels good. So give yourself permission to change up the workout if this one isn't feeling good, but you still want us as workout buddies to work out with you. So there's no way to do it wrong. You're all doing awesome. And we are gonna start off, get one more sip of water, towel down. Huh. It's my daddy, hello daddy. We are gonna work on our squats again. So going for round three here, starting it off in three, two, Bringing it down, stepping it forward. Awesome, awesome job. Doesn't this one kind of feel like that DDR show 
like that Dance Dance Revolution situation. Ooh, switch sides, I forgot. Hopefully you switch sides. <laughs> Good job. I'm gonna do two over here because I was unbalanced. Bloop. Working through it, you guys are doing awesome. Okay, switch, pay attention, focus. <laughs> That's what happens when I get all overexcited. Got a couple more here, bringing it forward. I'm gonna do one more on that other side. Bloop. And stand it up. Woo! Next we have our glute bridge off the couch. Remember you have the option of one leg and then the other. Otherwise we're keeping both feet firmly planted on the ground. Weight through the heels. Bring it up. Keeping that straight line and at the top take a sec. Because I really want those glutes to be engaged. I like to think about how high I can get my hips, and that really helps me extra focus on contracting those glutes. Big breath. I figured out where to put my hands, so I'm going to hold them. Last two. And one. Oh, okay. I used to be able to stand up out of that, but my legs are shot. Next, we're doing our squat to overhead press. So remember to keep that back line straight, starting it off in three, two, and sit it back. Last few. Getting that nice straight line, keeping that chest up while we get tired. Last one. Awesome. Next, we have our tricep push-ups. Take it down to the knees. Remember, if this is getting too hard, you can also do it off of a couch or even off of a wall and really minimize that depth. That'll make it a little bit easier. Otherwise, we're going to go down in three, two, and go. Big breaths here. Last one. Woo! Doing great. We have our last one. Grab your weight, totally optional. If it feels good, standing on our one leg, hand on our hip, drawing some circles with our toes. I always like to pretend I'm on a beach for this one and like drawing in the sand. So <laughs> we started off, one leg's out to the side, hinging forward, bringing it back, and row. Then match it up. So upper body and lower body is moving at the same time. Tons of modifications here. Remember to do what works for you. Here's six. My foot's cramping. New issue. <laughs> Nine. Last one. Boom, good job. Next side, same thing, bringing it down in three, two, and go. Forgot what to do there. Back up. <laughs> nice straight line, really focusing on being intentional with everything here. Keep that nice soft knee bend in that front leg. Great work. Here's six. Last one. And boom. Good job.
job. And we are done with that chunk of movement. Whoop, whoop. Next we have our floor portion. So towel yourself and then we will have some water and we will go to the ground. I have to see the ground is visible. So should be good. How's everyone feeling? How's everyone doing? Having fun, I hope. You guys can hit the little heart or like type comments, I believe. So that's always good. If there are questions or concerns or if you're like, Abby, this sucks, I'll be like, let's talk. So we're gonna start off, yay hearts, <laughs> with our leg raises on the ground. Ew, all of the hearts, you guys are the best, thanks. <laughs> We're gonna go down to the ground, yay, awesome, and do leg raises that are coming up little by little. So we're kinda going like that, and then we're resting it back down. That's our first one. Next we have plank to shoulder taps. Then we have oblique crunches, and then we have push up to twist. I just did all of those standing, so that's exciting. <laughs> we're gonna see if the phone is more useful at this angle, which I feel it will be, but now I feel like it's gonna fall over. There, that looks good. Okay, so we're gonna hang out on the ground, meet me on your mat or on the ground, or you can even do it on the couch, if you're feeling extra fancy. And we're starting off with our leg raises. So the goal here is to remember to keep low back pushed into the mat, ground, floor, couch, wherever you are. So we, I like to start off kind of doing like a push your low back into the ground situation. I'm sorry if you're staring at my butt. Let me see if I can turn. So, so we're really focusing on pushing our low back into the ground here. And then once we have that, we can really get comfy in our stance. So I start off with my legs up, stepping them down till they get to here, stepping them back up. Starting that off in three, two, and go. So it's kind of like a weird staircase. Oh. <laughs> Coming back up. Awesome. And go at your own pace. Do what feels good. I don't think I can get much slower than that, so do what your body needs. You have the option of also keeping your hands under your hips if you feel like you're starting to kind of like sit up at the bottom, which I feel like I was doing. So remember to keep that low back press down. Doing great. Got a couple more of these. Bloop. Back up. Last one. Listening to your body. Bend your knees as much as you need to if straight leg is too hard. And you're done. Woo! Good work. Next, we have plank shoulder taps. So, you have the option of doing this on your mat or you could totally use the couch. You could also play with being on your mat and then going from your knees, whatever you feel. I'm gonna do my knees for today so that I can really get through the rest of our core stuff with grace and still speak. Very helpful for group exercise instruction. So here we have our shoulders right over our wrists. Then if you're up on your feet, remember to make sure that you're at a distance of your feet being apart enough so that your hips aren't bobbing and weaving. So that is the main, main, main focus of this move. We want everything to be completely frozen except for that shoulder tap. So if you don't have the control to keep the straight line and not do this, then just take the knee. It's not anything to feel bad about or anything to get in your head about. Do what feels good, do what gets you the best quality movement. So we're starting it off in three, two, and taps. And I like to widen out my knees, if I feel that bob and weave happening with my hips. Soup 
super controlled here. Doing great. Last couple. Three, three, two, two, one, one. Woo! Child's pose. Ah! Always child's pose. When in doubt, child's pose. Whew. Good work. Awesome. Next we have our oblique crunches. So these are my personal favorites. We sit like we're going to take a nap and then we're like, just kidding. And then we do our obliques. So bringing it up. Two. Going for 10. Last one. Flipping it over. Nap time. Just kidding. Bring it up. <laughs> I'm going to teach it that way for the rest of my life now. That's awesome. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. And then. Last but not least, I have to sit up to remember, we're doing push-up to twist. Now, we have done a million and one pushy-uppy things in this workout, so be sure that this feels good. I'm going to show how this works from a wall because that's a really awesome way to modify these types of movements and still get an awesome benefit. So, if you're down on the ground, it's a regular push-up. Only when you're at the top, you come into that twist. If you're on a wall, I gave you too much wall. If you're on the wall, we're going to do push up here. When we're back out to straight, we're pivoting and opening up. Coming back, another push up. Then we pivot and open up in the other direction. If you're on the mat doing this from your knees, get into plank first. Like regular full plank before opening up because sometimes that's a weird knee torquing kind of situation. You could also do it from a couch or a chair. Just make sure, again, that you're really keeping everything in line. If knees feel funky or like they got bent in a weird way, just stop, play with push-ups, play with plank, whatever serves you. But we're gonna do 10 of these from the wall or from wherever you're at. So, starting it off in three, two, and go. Big twist, bringing it back, twisting it out the other way. Really be intentional in that twist. Really feeling all of that work that we did to open up that spine. Coming in here. Last couple. Last one on either side. If you're counting, you probably caught that I lost count. So that's okay too. <laughs> Counting is the hardest thing in the workout, I swear. Awesome job! And that is the end of that circuit. So, we are going to start that off again. We have room for one more time through that, and we are going to show a few different modifications, too, that you guys can play with for each of these movements. So, if leg raises were like, yep, cool, did that once, all done, totally understand, we have a ton of other options. So... Same thing, keeping that low back pushed down. I got my head cut off. And we're keeping that low back pushed down. And then we're gonna have our legs up like this and we're gonna work on our toe tips. Tons of different ways, or you can go alternating here and really focus on keeping that back almost in a reverse C. So don't let that back arch. Otherwise, we're gonna do our leg raises, stepping it up, hands under your butt if you felt like your low back was raising, like I know mine was. And we're starting that off in three, two, and go. Big 
big breaths here. People have a tendency to hold their breath while doing abs. Don't do that. <laughs> Doing great. Almost done. We've got to finish this one and then we're doing one more. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Boom. Good job. Awesome work. Next we have our plank shoulder taps. These could also happen off of the wall, so if you really liked that wall situation, feel free to take advantage of that again for these shoulder taps. Otherwise, get nice and comfy, get that nice, stable, you feel like nobody could push you over kind of stance in plank. And then we're starting it off in three, two, and go. Stretching it out. This always feels so good after that, trying to flatten out your back. Mm. Ugh, yum. Next we have our obliques. It's a nap time, just kidding one. So, we're all nice and curled over, and then we open it up, and we're sitting it up. Last one, flip it over. And 10, beautiful. Next we have our push up to twist, taking it to the wall. And then we are stretching. So make sure that you're really focusing on form here. Do what serves you. This is your last chance to tune in and figure out what your body needs out of this workout and to give yourself permission to modify if that resonates. If you're like, this is really hard the way I'm doing it and it's fun and I like it and I feel like a badass, keep doing it that way. That's totally fine. But if you feel like you're like, hey, I'm good and <laughs> you wanna try a modification, haven't given yourself permission to try this yet, try it out, see what it feels like. So we're starting it off in three, two, and go. Twisting it out. I've also noticed with the wall push-ups that it feels way better to have your hands lower than you think. I'm pretty sure that that's like an angle situation. So I always start like up here and then realize that that's really weird. And then down here, it feels a ton better. So give yourself permission to play with what feels good for your own body, with what you feel gives you the best alignment. Want to make sure we're taking care of all of our joints, all the shoulders, all the backs, all the elbows. Really getting into that twist on this last couple rounds of here. Last one on either side. And one. Woo! You did it! Good work! We are going to stretch it out now. And we will finish right on time. Look at us. <laughs> Yay! So, let's start off standing up. We're basically going to do the same head-to-toe stretch that we did before. But now we're working on some static stretches. So first, we're gonna play with our neck, letting our heart rate come down a ton. If it feels good, super gently, you can place your hand on your head and kind of get into some of the angles that might serve you to have a little extra oomph there. This should feel like an awesome stretch, though this should not be painful. Switching to the other side. And if you find one of those tight spots, hang out there for a sec. 
and you breathe into it and see if it releases. Awesome. Next favorite, big bear hug. And for this one, we're really trying to like separate our shoulder blades. So I really focus on letting my shoulders come around and you're really trying to open that up and get into that back and open that up in a way that does not usually happen, but that feels so awesome after lots of back work. Switch it up. Bloop. That's my favorite. <laughs> Awesome. Next, we are going to grab our fingers, interlace them, bring your arms down. Don't do the hyperextend thingy. Keep a little bend here, and we're going to lean over and get into everything <laughs> with that. So feel what that feels like. Play in a way that feels good. When you're done, release those arms, walk those feet toward each other. We're gonna play with that forward fold again. So right now I have my torso resting on my legs. That feels awesome, it feels super supported. And then I'm slowly going to straighten things out and see what that feels like. And sometimes that feels awesome. Today that does not feel awesome. <laughs> so I'm gonna ease up a little bit. Let your head relax, slowly getting into it, little by little. <sighs> Big breaths. Awesome, feel free to walk it out if that feels good. This is your workout. Roll it up nice and slow. Head's the last thing to come up, don't rush this. Woo! We're gonna do some shoulder rolls. Awesome, awesome. And next we're gonna do a stagger stance stretch. So a lot of times people try and get into their shin on this one. We're gonna do that next, not yet. So first we're stagger stancing and we're gonna get into that front hip flexor. So I have this back leg bent a little bit and I'm playing with bringing this hip forward and then I'm trying to really get into that front leg region. I can truly feel it like all through here right now. So play with letting that back knee drop a little bit, play with lifting that heel, see where your body really lights up for this stretch. Getting into it, move around, play with that a little bit. Awesome. And then now we let that heel come down and then you're going to feel that stretch transfer into your calf. And we'll make sure that we're given that some TLC. So really focusing on straightening out that leg as much as you can, getting that heel down onto the ground as much as you can too. Feeling great. And switch it out. You got that front leg coming back. Knee is a little bit bent. Heel is up off the ground. And we're focusing on twisting that hip forward, really getting into the front of that hip there. I'm also tightening my glute on the side that my knee is bent and that also helps to really turn this on. I'm like digging in to the ground with my toes with that back bent leg. And this one feels so good today. Love it. And then let that heel hit down. Readjust a little if you need to. And we're transferring that stretch into the calf. It's crazy how just that little bit of movement can be a completely different body part. <laughs> it's like heel up, up here, heel down, all the way over there. <laughs> awesome, awesome job. Perfect. Last but not least, we're going to do some big arm circles. Bringing it back, bringing it forward, stretching over. Bring it over this way. Hands overhead. And we're done. Good job, everybody. Awesome, awesome work. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on this Tuesday morning. You guys did awesome. And we are always here, 9 a.m. Body Positive Boot Camp on live. 
hopefully one day back in person <laughs> and we are always going to be doing fun workouts like this and moving away from the really bright window so I look a little bit less albino. There it is. Okay. So yeah, great job. Make sure that we're drinking lots of water today. Fuel your body. Make sure that you get an extra stretch in if that feels good. Otherwise, that is it for today and I will see you guys next week. Thank you guys so, so much. Have a good one. Bye everybody.